Well, uh, here we are in the middle of summer. No, wait a minute. It's actually, we're still winter, right? <laughs> you think you are. Yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't it, it's 95 wouldn't, degrees. Don't you wish you had decent windows right now to keep that heat out? Well, John Gunnison is here today, owner of Republic Windows. Yeah. And uh, for all intents and purposes, it's summer weather right now. And well, if you still got those uh, old aluminum kind of rinky-dink windows, you're feeling the heat. Well, you know, this, right? this, this winter was interesting because it you was. felt really cold. Yeah. And then and here it is, you know, what is it, 90 degrees? I mean, at least in Anaheim Hills where we live. Yeah. I mean, I mean it was heat hot all, all over. So, I mean, you know, the, making a change in the windows is a huge deal. It from is. From cold to hot. Yeah. It's a really big deal. Yeah. yeah. And... Um, they can do so much, not only for the interior of the house, but the aesthetics of the house, it's keeping a, things quieter. It's an entire environmental it change. Really is. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, people talk about only energy, but it's not just energy. No, it's, it's not. When the wind blows, the wind doesn't come through. Your, your sills are cleaner with new windows. Yeah. They bring more light in. Mm -hmm. uh, they're easier to operate. Yes, they are. And they're just, they're clean, and they look very nice in, in the house, and then sound, and then energy. So yeah. it's really, we, we call it an environmental it it change and it, it really is a it makes a whole difference in your house it does now coming up in uh, 2017 there are going to be some new requirements am i right that's right and uh, the the government is mandating certain energy requirements mm -hmm. they want to seal these houses up but they also want energy consumption to go down in the last couple of years um let's see it's today's 216 214 yeah. and in 2014 they changed the energy requirements and they had to have a certain solar heat gain coefficient right. number and then a, a certain UV rating. Mm -hmm. Well, they're gonna ratchet those down in 17 and so you're gonna have, the window manufacturer is gonna have to start changing the way they look at mm -hmm. what they're producing. Uh, a triple pane is gonna be a, a, probably the, the choice of, of window coming mm -hmm. up in 17 because yeah. uh, you're, gonna need the, you're gonna need a couple of coats of OE on the windows in order to get to the energy uh, requirements that the cities and the uh, government's going to mandate. So it's going it, to be a little bit different. Yeah. Is it, um, for somebody like yourself, uh, as far as getting those windows and things like that, uh, the, I know you, uh, the kind of windows that you use are really high, high quality, great windows. Right. What uh, is the lead time for these new requirements? Because I, if, if people go through this year and get the windows now, they're still fantastic windows. Well, they're they're, they're going to be. And, yeah, but they're just, yeah. what they're going to do is when, when this mandate does come okay. through, and I think it's the summer of 2017, 2017 okay. All right. what's going to happen? The manufacturers are very much aware of the fact that these energy okay. requirements yeah. are coming. And so uh, they're all making uh, inroads into what they have to do to windows okay. to get to these, uh, these new requirements. Uh, they, uh, of course, we sell triple pane windows anyway. We, mm -hmm. we are one of the only manufacturer, only one of the dealers that are uh, really putting forth triple pane in the marketplace today. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's going to be well lead time. You're talking about lead time. There's yeah. no different lead time okay. in terms of constructing those windows, uh, and the changes aren't here yet, but they're coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so all right, so people have some time. Yeah, oh, sure. We get yeah. and all the windows we're putting in today are, are exactly. perfectly uh, acceptable, and they're they're great windows. It's just the government's going to start ratcheting down the requirements, and we're going to have to meet those requirements. Now, um, as far as finding the right window for uh, the client. You sit down with them and you talk with them. Do you offer different styles, different, obviously if you, people live in this community, they, they have to conform to what uh, their, uh, their mutual says. Right. But are there other different options that they can go for besides that? Well, there's, there's different glass options. Okay. There's sound options that you mm -hmm. can come up with. They look the same, but they perform differently. Okay. Uh, here in this community, uh, we come down and we'll sit down and, and visit with uh, the individual homeowner mm -hmm. and go through what the process and talk about different designs if they have sound issues or they they want their windows to open a different direction mm -hmm. we'll go through all that and get them an estimate right away okay so, you bet and as far as the other things that you do i know obviously you do windows you do doors as well, well i've been a general contractor for 32 years yeah so we've been at this so you can do anything yeah well pretty much <laughs> over the years uh, people ask you, hey, can you do this? And you just develop a skill set. Uh, I was a builder for 15 years uh, in, well, I, I think I might have mentioned this, but 32 cities in three states. Mm -hmm. My wife and I traveled around a lot. Yeah. I, I worked for developers, which was, is why I came to California in the first place. And 
1989. Uh, and so we formed Republic in 1992, and, and uh, I started doing it on my own. Uh, but yeah, I've been a general contractor for 32 years, so you just develop a skill set. Right. And so we do kitchen remodels and bath remodels and, and uh, whole home remodels. Yeah. Oh, you still do that? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. I, uh, I, I haven't mentioned it much. And well, we, that's don't, great. we don't. We try to leave. We try to do the windows, and then we'll use that as an intro to do other things. I don't express or, or advertise doing remodeling, kitchen remodeling, bathroom right. remodeling without doing a window job. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it all but that's nice together. to know if somebody is, uh, you know, people often here will do some remodeling or. If they, um, you know, they get the permission to do so, they yeah. add on, right. and uh, that's something you can help with oh, sure. as well. So yeah. that, that's oh, sure. great to know. Yeah. So it, that's the point: is it's going with a licensed contractor company. Well, right? I think that's yeah. a real important thing, and, and I like to talk about that because uh, being licensed today is important. Um, mm -hmm. the, the the issue of having a license and bonded and insured protects the customer mm -hmm. and the California State License Board has certain regulations that they have they they impose upon contractors and if you don't have those licenses it's really a risk for the people that are doing business with those con right. con you know, unlicensed contractors. Exactly. We have to have certain bonding requirements and, and there's some protection for the consumer there but not only that it keeps you from having to deal with uh, people that aren't going to be responsible. And right, exactly. And there, has been, there have been many instances, you know, even here, mm -hmm. where people have taken money and, and gone away, and, and people haven't gotten their, their either windows and or remodeling done. And it's, it's, it's frustrating for the ones that do take care of the customer, you know. Yeah, And you exactly. have to deal with that. So, yeah, it's important. We're looking at some of the, the stuff that you, do, that you do here, the different types of windows that right. are available. Uh -huh. These are, what are these called, the pull-out? No, what are these those called? Are sing, those are single hung those windows. Those are single hung, but... they tilt in so you can clean them. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're very nice, yeah. Are most people still going with the sliders? Is that kind yeah, of pretty a... much. I think most predominantly here are sliders. Yeah. I, they, we don't, I don't think you have single hungs here. Uh, they, they have tall windows with uh, different configuration, mm -hmm. but I don't think they have any... Yeah, I think that um, although I like single and double, double home, I love the look of them. Right. The sliders are, are still easier, pretty easy. Yeah, they're easier to move, yeah. Yeah, they really are. But sure. uh, again, nowadays, uh, the, uh, the windows and, uh, and doors, really, patio doors, all kinds of stuff that you folks do right. are so much better than, than what they used to well, be. Well, they actually it's work. Incredible. Yeah. They actually some, of, some of the windows I see, you can't even roll anymore. Yeah, yeah and they'll that's last so much longer. It's very so. difficult, yeah. I want to give um, your uh, websites very easy, lagunawoodswindows.com. That's all you got to remember. Uh, phone number is 949-462-9190, Republic Windows, doors, think of all kinds of different things. And if you, do, if you go out on the website, there's still a $200 uh, gift certificate. Oh, there. great. So, yeah, so, they so still keep get that a in mind. Because uh, that's, that's a website that's exclusive to here, right? That's right. All right. Hey, okay. good to see you. Hey, thanks again. All I right. It. You take care, and folks, we'll be right back. Okay.